affect your melanin and it either brings you a euphoria or it brings you down, depressed. So I, it doesn't make sense that you would burn yourself. Uh, uh, you know, anyway, my spirit is in my spirit and my logic and my common sense tells me that, and now knowing this story, that Richard Pryor did not burn himself. I never thought he did. And I barely even keep up with Richard Pryor. I was a little girl. I saw Superman. That's what I know about Richard Pryor. Um, I did hear, like, way after the fact, when I'm researching or something, I saw that he burned himself or something. But anyway, that was the elite retaliation payback for threatening Paul Mooney. This is what I think. So put that card on the table. And also, wait a minute, it's not just about Paul Mooney, but I, like I said, I, there's times where I just start researching people that are celebrities that I never knew about their life. Or maybe they passed away and then I start researching them. And I looked up things on Richard Pryor and you know, even though he worked for the Beast, he would be talking about the Beast in front of their face. There's a video where he talks very ugly to the producers and everything and tell them to go F off and stuff. And that he ain't, you know, going back to the set right now. So I'm sure that they, you know, did a payback on him for all those times he talked about white people in front of their faces. So put that card on the table. Now, what else did I learn about Paul Mooney? Um, oh, I saw the video of, I just looked up one or two. I don't really care to research Paul Mooney. I'm not really trying to research Paul Mooney. Just, I mean, he says the same thing every time. All these comedians say the same thing every time. And it's actually very barbaric that people pay to sit and hear somebody cuss and and degrade other people you know um so but anyway in one of the videos he was talking explicitly about the queen of england and Di princess diana and how they had her killed and all the stuff and he kept calling the queen a bitch and and that's his whole act was just calling her a bitch now what I want to say, what my spirit tells me is that every celebrity is, is a sacrifice because their, their physical body is so valuable that their, you know, the elite is going to, it's going to go to the highest bidder. And there's, I've researched a lot and what you don't realize is that what you don't know is that they have been eating you for a very long time. That's what you don't know. Now, because of the internet, you can know it now. But the, the mythology of Dracula um, as a vampire, that is really the metaphor for the beast. And they have been living off of your melanin drinking your blood that's why they got blood banks especially in black neighborhoods because they it it just keeps them going a little bit longer they need it they really do so that's what my spirit tells me put that card on the table any celebrity uh, I could even almost joke about it but it's not a joke you can, I guarantee you that Paul Mooney, whatever, for however he died, which I don't believe he died of natural causes, however he died, somebody has his body as a trophy, and probably the Queen Elizabeth. And it's because I saw that video that I'm saying that, because there's no way 
he would get permission to talk about the um, the Queen of England, who is one of the um, major people that run the world. I mean, you don't know that the British still own the U.S. You don't know that. I know that. The Queen owns the birth certificates of everybody in the U.S., so, so Brit, the British, you know, the sun has never set on the British Empire. Is still very much alive, thriving, and has Roman soldiers everywhere. So, let's put that card on the table. And you know it should be time for the queen to be dead. She should be long time dead by now. She just seems to keep going and going and going. You know, I'm not exaggerating, but honestly, as we know that they have very weak genes, and this lady seems to be like the Energizer Bunny. She's still going, and it's very unlikely if you would just statistically look at the aging process and understand the the weaknesses of the beast and and their their average rate of strength and performance basically and just how they look they deteriorate literally but you get used to that you know their skin is coming off of their their skin just sags and pulls off of their fucking face now, take a look at Bush Sr. and compare him to the Queen. The Queen should be in the state that Bush Sr. was, which is basically human rot. So, anyway, there, you know, my senses tell me that Paul Mooney, as much as he was allowed and was told to berate the uh, Queen of England, and everybody thinks it's a joke. In the end, he is her sacrifice because his melanin is immortal and strong. And, you know, he got butchered. A lot of these celebrities are getting butchered. I'm sorry to tell you that. Their melanin is too powerful. Even their, the spirit of their energy is very powerful. Just the fact that he spoke out things against the beast. But he, he that is not coming from his own dictation. The JB give him the script and say, okay, this is your comedy routine. So what they're doing is they're playing, they always play the duality of, all right, we're beating down black people and killing black people and genociding people and all and you know doing all these horrible things of black people, but yet we are loved all around the world. Uh, people buy bleaching creams. Everybody wants to be white. Got to have the straight hair. Got to have the right nose. Everybody's hating their own nose. Everybody's feeling self-conscious about their own nose. And because of the law of attraction, because the majority of the energy of thinking affects everybody. So you're going to conform to what the biggest energy is. So when you go to another country and they are wearing tropical clothing, okay, you conform and do it. But in your own country, you wouldn't do it. Okay, that's how that's working. Put that card on the table. My senses tell me Paul Mooney's a sacrifice in whatever way that he died. And he, his body is getting butchered up into little pieces, put into pills or whatever the fuck, because they've always been doing that. But the celebrity is like more powerful because of the energy that he emitted to the world. So... Let's put that card on the table. He's 
he's chopped liver literally chopped liver for the queen of england especially because he talked so bad about her so i think i've said everything about everything that i want to about paul mooney uh oh okay something else about paul mooney his name now in order to be in hollywood the 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 nature the what i'm okay the nature of the beast is uh, unnatural and that means the the natural balance of order in the universe for creation is masculine feminine and child so without masculine and feminine on the earth realm okay i'm talking about the on the earth realm you need the masculine and the feminine coming together to create a Horus child, a third energy. Now, in the spirit realm, the, 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 the overall energy of the universe is feminine. Okay? And that I can't explain about it, but it is a feminine energy that creates just because that is the, that's the, that's the, the, the instigator, you know, that's the prime, that's the primordial energy is feminine, being able to create, on the earth plane, okay, it turns into needing the male energy to um, connect with the female energy to produce a third energy, put that card on the table, about Paul Mooney, Okay, I'm saying I'm saying what is the natural order of the universe and now I'm going to say that the beast is unnatural. He's unnaturally he's unnatural. His natural tendency is to put male and male energy together. And male and male energy can't reproduce. So that goes against the the laws of the universe. No matter how much people want to say it's okay to be gay. It doesn't go, it doesn't match the laws of the universe. Um, so, put that card on the table. Whatever Paul Mooney did, I would say that he's a victim, as we all are, of this degenerate um, this degenerate exploitative unnatural environment created by the beast and run by the beast so pedophilia you know having a liking for children that is a natural that is an unnatural thing but it's the beast level it's the nature of the beast marrying your cousin you, you know that is anything that's not natural is what the beast is that is what i'm trying to get you to understand on every level sexually they're not natural physically they're not natural D by their dna they're not natural their behavior is not natural even what they eat is not even fucking natural dr laila La africa tells you about that the foods that we're eating are not natural for us to be eating. So, put that card on the table. What I want to say about Paul Mooney is that regardless of him being a victim of Hollywood, which is that you, it's run by uh, unnatural people, and, you know, sodomy is the norm. Oh, I feel a pain in my head. Sodomy is the norm, and it's a way to control other people and shame other people and, and have power over other people. And also, this is, my, uh, this is my understanding. Because the beast doesn't have a soul, he can't feel things. Now, the melanated person although we're very um jaded now 
but the melanated person, you need to have a feeling for something, someone in order to be intimate with that person. And the intimacy is going to increase a feeling of closeness, right? Because you have a soul. Now, the beast doesn't have a soul. He can barely experience things. He's experienced a very superficial level of things. So it doesn't matter where he sticks his thing. He's trying to get a gratification, a physical gratification of, um, um, excuse me for saying it, ejaculation. It doesn't matter how he gets it. He can do it with a damn cow, which I hear them. I hear about that. I have heard about that. I have not researched it. I don't want to research it. But I understand that they do those things. Bestiality. Um, so it doesn't matter the object because they don't have any feeling. They are trying to achieve some gratification through the genitals in any way they can. So if it takes a man's rear end to do that, that's what they're going to do. And plus they have to be feel power over the person. So the person doing the, the pushing in is the one that is dominant. Just in in the physical sense, okay? Because one is on top of the other. Um, the other thing is that you don't know the mind of a beast. You don't want to know the mind of a beast. You can see their actions, but you still don't think that that's who they are. That's the problem. So on the inside, they are debased like they get some gratification from murder that is why it's a sport ask yourself why you play sports anybody because it's just a, a physical joy right it's a physical a feeling of accomplishment but it's it's joyful to you know go outside play ball with the, your friends or whatever so, for them, oh man, I'm speaking too long. For them, killing gives them gratification. Killing is a sport. Now, if you want to defend the beast, okay, you can write a comment and, ex and justify um, the sport of hunting and killing magnificent animals such as giraffes, hippos, deer, impala, lions, jaguars, all kinds of birds that symbolize freedom. Please write in the comments below and defend that nature. Tell me why that is not a beastly nature. Put that card on the table. Um, so anyway, going back to Paul Mooney, they gave him the stage name Mooney. Now, I don't hear this a lot, but when I was a kid, and actually this is from bad influence from a teenager. Uh, they would say, I moon you. And you would they pull down their pants and show their butt to somebody um, randomly. So that is what Paul Mooney's name is connected to. The sexual um, flashing of your rear end. That's how he has the name Paul Mooney. That's my own revelation. All right, put that card on the table. That's not in any video. I That's my own revelation. Um, 
so the last thing I want to say about Paul Mooney is that um, he is a product of the beast, okay? But he's still a melanated God. He still he has the God genes. He has the DNA. He has the indigenous bloodline. You know, he has the creative melanin expression. And he wrote a lot of comedy and things for other people. And 